Hi everyone and welcome back to day four of how to write a fractured fairy tale. So this is the last day of writing for the week and we're actually going to be talking about the endings of your story so it works out really well. So yesterday we talked about the small moments or the scenes in your story and we really worked on um, bringing back what we learned about small moments at the beginning of the year to really strengthen that part of the writing. So there was dialogue, lots of details, and maybe multiple scenes to tell the story that you wanted to tell. Now, we are going to be talking about endings, like I said. So this says, figure out an ending that solves the character's big problem. So that is the most important part of the ending. So in comparison to like persuasive speeches, we needed to make sure that we explained everything that we had just talked about. An ending for a fairy tale is much different. Instead, we need to put an ending to the story. And a lot of times this means that there is a moral or a lesson in the story that is being taught. So I am going to go along with the story that I started yesterday about um, my goldfish and the three turtles instead of Goldilocks and the three bears. And I'm just going to write a quick little ending to go with it to show you what something like that might look like. Okay, so I have written a um, nice long ending or resolution to my story, and I want to show you how I was able to balance um, some dialogue, some talk about my characters and their actions, while also putting um, an end to my character's big problem, which was if... Um, if we follow the traditional path of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, it's that someone, the goldfish in my case, has been in the turtle's house and has been sleeping on their lily pad or been nibbling on their leaves or different things like that. So um, this is the ending that will go with that story that I've been showing you. So you're going to have to go down. It goes down really far, so I'll have to lift this up. There she is, cried Mommy Turtle. Goldie. The goldfish opened her eyes and yelled, Ah! She quickly swam to the corner behind some weeds. Oh no, not again. I have to lift that up. Oh no, not again. I must have been sleep swimming again, Goldie cried. Goldie apologized to the three little turtles. They laughed and helped her home. And I was going to put it at the end, but I didn't have any room at the bottom of my little whiteboard there. I was going to write um, something like, and Goldie found her way home and lived happily ever after, like most of those stories end. So um, today I want you to write an ending to your story. So you probably already have something started for the ending. I really want you to work on making this a really developed scene. Add dialogue, add lots of action. Don't just add the end or they lived happily ever after. Make sure that there is a resolution to your problem, okay? So be creative with it. Um, you can bring in some elements from the traditional story, like I talked about, um, I named my goldfish Goldie, like in Goldilocks. I um, made sure there was like a mommy turtle. Um, and then I came up with something creative that wasn't there before about um, sleep swimming. So there's lots of different ways that you can be creative in this um, and make sure to share with your teacher what you write for an ending today at, um, when you're all finished. Bye. Have a great weekend.